And reviews are mixed this morning for the new Apple Watch and iPhone 6. Some critics say Tuesday's unveiling in California didn't impress. Wall Street is sharing those doubts. Apple stock fell after the announcement. And as John Blackstone reports, the event was still important for customers and the company. To launch its latest products, Apple chose the same theater where Steve Jobs unveiled a revolutionary computer. On this stage 30 years ago, Steve introduced the Macintosh to the world. For Tim Cook, who took over the company after Jobs' death, returning here seemed to be both a nod to the past and a look toward the future. It is the next chapter in Apple's story. And here it is. The Apple Watch is the first original Apple product not launched by Steve Jobs. Is today the beginning of the Tim Cook era at Apple? That's exactly what I would describe it as. How important was it for Tim Cook to come up with this now? He needed, especially now, something to really give, I think, not only investors, but the public this sense of, you know, that Apple has a direction that it's going in and that it has a vision for an Apple beyond Steve Jobs. That vision also includes replacing credit cards with iPhones through a new system called Apple Pay. Such mobile payment systems from other companies have been slow to catch on, but Apple says it has signed up major credit cards, banks, and retailers. Cook ended the event by bringing out U2. And if assurance was needed that this is now Tim Cook's company, Bono delivered that too. We're the blood in your machines. Oh, Zen master of hard and software, Tim Cook. <laughs> For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Cupertino, California. Are you going to get that watch? Absolutely. <laughs> no, I mean, it is, you know, I was hoping it would be available earlier than it is. I think it's next year before it's available. Mm. All right.